All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Break 75. This is episode number nine of the series so far, and I'm down here at somewhere quite historic, Moortown Golf Club in Leeds. Now, this venue hosted the first Ryder Cup outside of America here in Europe in 1929. And back then, it was actually USA versus GB and I. And actually, Great Britain and Ireland won that match here the first time round. Today, I'm going to battle this golf course and see if I can break 75. Now, this is, I'm going to put a little caveat, it's the first time I've played golf since I walked across Scotland. Uh, my stress fracture in my foot is hopefully fully healed, uh, but I'm not quite feeling fully myself today. You saw after press week last time, I actually played quite well. Today might be a very different challenge. So, I've hit balls on the range, and it actually felt a little bit better as I hit more balls. I've got a brand new putter in the bag, which is an old one from last year that I played at King's Barnes where I put it very nicely. But out here today, this rough is pretty brutal. I'm playing with Guy as well because this is a venue that really, you've got to experience. So, let's get out there. Let's go and break, try and break 75. And uh, I think you're going to really enjoy this. I know I am. Okay, let battle commence. Should be ready, warmed up. Full shots, putts, chips. How are you feeling, Guy? Nervous, because at the driving range, as I say every week, I've been smashing it so straight. <laughs> On the golf course, different story. And this rough doesn't look nice, Rick. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're playing off the back backs today, so it's Why? nearly 7,000 <laughs> 7, yards, par 71. And I've just spoke to the head pro here, Martin, who's been here nearly 20 years. He said, good, look <laughs> trying to break 75 today so we'll see what happens uh, par five to start off it actually seems on paper not so menacing 486 yards back into a tiny bit of breeze a few beautiful bunkers down there and lots of long kind of wispy grass so let's play well enjoy it guys yeah and you mate yes that'll work great shot oh, that's money we will take that one that as we mean to go on, right? Splitting fairways. Cut. Yeah, great ball. Well done, pal. Now we're away from the first tee. And uh, Martin, the head pro, was watching a few other members. I'm actually weirdly quite nervous about oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so glad we both absolutely smashed it down the middle. So, course design, just to give you an idea, this is actually Dr. Alistair McKenzie's first solo course that he designed we don't know about alistair mckenzie he's one of the greatest course designers ever including augusta national you know that that little place where they host the uh, masters each year oh, i've never felt right over that shot at all okay 69 yards i'm just gonna just chip a little 56 in in there one hop and stop strike it's been hard it's been hard uh that way too hard. Ah. Yeah, well done. This second hole is a toughie. Into win, 460. I'm already angry. How are you? Come on. I had a putt for eagle. Came off with a bogey. Carry the bunker. Uh, second shot into this par four, quite a long way still, 206 yards, similar to the first hole really, that was a par five. Oh, that good. could be a golf shot, that. Yeah, good shot. Well, that was a very nice shot into this hole, but I wish I was here yesterday. That's where yesterday's hole was, that would have made things a lot easier. <laughs> So I've been really trying to work on my swing and hit balls at the range, and I'm in this weird place where I'm either flushing it, which is great, or literally full on shanking it. I've just shanked one now, watch this. It's soul destroying. So there could be a few shanks today. So if you want to have a laugh at me, feel free. Confident. Managed to split the fairway. All right, it's feeling good. I'm 140 yards from the flag, so I've just got to carry it just onto the front of the green about 130. 
Oh, it'll be absolutely beautiful. Oh, golf shots. Little five footer for birdie here on the third. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pop open that birdie sauce nice and early. Okay, fourth hole, par three, played about 172 yards, but into wind and off slightly off the right, so I'm gonna hit a little chippy five iron. Oh, he's called it. Stay on that line, a bit more curl, actually. A little bit more. Oh, golf shot. Take a bow. That was very, that was, that was nice, I must admit. <laughs> that was great. Okay, a couple of birdie chances here on four. Green slope massively back to front. Guy's gonna give me a nice line on this, though. Oh, that's so low. Okay, come on. Right to left, down the hill. Uh, fifth hole, and we're really trying to negotiate our way around this because it looks somewhat of like a, a blind, I can't, we can't see anything bar the really long kind of uh, wispy grass and the fairways over that and then it's a slight dog leg to the left. Luckily, we've got technology that gives us a bit of an indicator. Uh, 220 yards to reach the fairway, and it, like you say, it bends round to the left. It has kind of got subtle, and it might be playing on the fact, obviously it's a Dr. Alison McKenzie design course. Very subtle Augusta vibes to it. I think it's the bunkers, and even the colour of the sand, like there's two traps up there far away. They're like very white, the sand, yeah. aren't they? Oh, carry. So you know when we were just saying to you the white sand in the bunkers? I just wanted to uh, demonstrate that by hitting it here on the bunker on the fifth hole. I mean, it's so white, the golf ball's practically blending in. Come on, take it. Oh, golf shot. That is stunning. Thank you. That reminds me of a young Matthew Fitzpatrick. I hit that nicely. I did what I needed to do, found the green. Yeah, nice. The six hole is the hardest hole in the golf course here. 446 yards, stroke one. So I think it just requires just to take off the corner off the right hand side a little bit. Oh, that's money. That should be absolutely money. Oh, I'm not confident on that. Mr. Bunker, Mr. Bunker, Mr. Bunker, Mr. Bunker. Okay, so got lucky in the fact that I missed the bunker after that terrible strike. Got loads and loads of green to work with. I think a nice little, hmm, hmm, little nine iron bump and run. Whoa, 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 whoa. I actually genuinely thought I yeah, that perfect. Yeah, that was a good strike, decent judge. It's just, those the slopes are severe. I feel like a bogey probably he deserved on that hole, but could have also quite easily scraped a par out of it. Okay, chance to get a birdie back straight away here on the seventh, par five, slightly back into breeze, but playing just over 500 yards. Quite a nice kind of shoot down there. It looks like it kind of dog legs slightly to the left. From here, it's one option only. Get it out, back in play. Oh, stay out of there. Hmm, missed the fairway. That should actually be all right, just side of the green. That is not the speed. Ah, that's so bad. Not play this hole well, but coming off with par here would be very handy. Oh. Ah, it's really six on that hole. Eighth hole, par three, 225 yards up the hill, wind off the left and the pins back left. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna kind of play this like a par four. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hit three iron and try and knuckle it up into the front edge of the green. Stay there. That digs in, that could be very good. Oh. Great shot, stay there. Okay, so just came off the back edge. 
but I definitely wouldn't have got it here with four iron, so nothing much. As soon as I get on the green, it's gonna be super fast. Whoa. <laughs> Still you. Come on. I was joking about being a par four. <laughs> this is for now for an actual four. Oh, that's going to hurt. Ouch. I have a walked off with a five there. So that's how, ladies and gentlemen, you go from one on the par to three over par very quickly, like that. I've just gone bogey, bogey, double. Uh, didn't feel like I was playing that bad, but that last hole, that, that's hurt me, that. So yeah, kind of three over and I feel a bit like, ah. So we've got a bit of a battle on now. It's a par 71. So I could do with just picking up a couple of birdies. Par, none of the par fours have been easy. Like this is 473 yards, slight dog leg to the right off these back tees. So there's a bit of water down there as well, so. This course doesn't seem to be giving you much yet. Probably the only the only holes that I feel like it's been opportunities have been the par four, mm. par fives, and they're the yeah. ones really we've not I've not capitalised on. So plenty of time. Oh, get down, get down. That'll be all right if it just stays there. Yeah. Oh, golf shot. I can't go over it and I can't go under it, so I've got to go round it. This massive sod off tree. I'm 190 yards away. I feel like things have just switched so quickly in this round of golf. Annoyingly from feeling quite chilled and relaxed and had everything in control to suddenly feeling a bit out of a bit out of place. Really, I need to I should just chip it out there and try and wedge it close and knock it in. That would be the sensible golf shot. And if I was doing, if my score was still doing well, that's what I'd do. Or I try and hit a 70 yard hook around the tree with a five iron. You know what I'm going with, don't you? <laughs> You've not come here for a chip out. Oh, baby. Oh. Good shot, mate. That was class. I must admit, both shots there, guys from the side of the bunker and mine from around the tree. Pretty, pretty special to be having two putts for birdie here. Okay, pretty straight, up the hill. Never kind of got rolling. Had a few too many little hop, skips and jumps. Oh, oh great roll. Okay, halfway house, more town golf club, sausage rolls under the heater. I'm gonna go for that one at the back. That's nice. Oh yes. Have a bit of that. Look at that. Beautiful. The sausage roll reviews back. It's been a while actually. I'm gonna take a bite without ketchup. And then ketchup it. And then and then cover it. Right, let's do this. Ooh. Oh my word. So far, normal. I think once you put ketchup on it, it needs that bit of moisture. Initial rating then? 7.7. Uh, 7.7. 7. Let's sauce it up. We have a slow mo of the sauce going on. <laughs> <laughs> What's this become, eh? What's happened to us? So, the next hole, the 10th hole, is the par 3, which Dr. Alice McKenzie almost it's C his CV to first build this golf course, his solo golf course. And uh, it does look nice. More than one? The guys must have been very easily pleased because it's, it's a nice looking par three. Yeah, let, let's let's box one just for. I'll you know, get the sake a of it. two. You can have a one. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now taking one for the team. <laughs> you know what? Actually, coming up onto the tee here, I take it back. This is actually a really nice hole. As I didn't see this bunker on the left. There's a massive bunker on the left. The green slopes from right to left, and again, similar to Alistair McKenzie's design, it kind of looks like it's got a couple of tiers to it. Good shot. Okay. <clears throat> Massive 
left to right putt up the hill. This is going to be literally coming in sideways once it gets to around about here. It's going to really come in sideways. I think two putt here is the goal because this could really get away from me if I'm not careful. Stay up. Oh, I still didn't give it enough to, that's what I mean. Oh, wow. Yes, lovely. I feel like that was very much needed. Yeah, that's nice, that. Okay, second shot into this 11th hole. I'm just in the first cut of rough. It's time to hopefully use a little bit of finesse and stick one close. Come on. Oh, it's all right. Not, not a bad putt, that. Yeah. Okay, par five, downwind. Oh, get away from that bush. Oh, it's coming straight in it. Okay, so there it is, in the bottom of that horribly prickly bush. Even if I could have hit it, there's no way I'm gonna contend with that. So, really annoyingly, great opportunity to go for this par five in two. I'm gonna have to drop it so I can go one, two, I can go out as far as that, and I've got a clear line to the green, but I'm still 270 yards away. Come right, uh, come left, sorry. Might be in the bunker short. It seems to end somewhere easy. I found the bunker here from like 280 yards away, but then it's gone into like a little spot there where it's almost behind a, a peninsula. So I've got to carry that, and I'm still 20 odd yards to the flag. Oh. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Talk through your shot then, Rick. Okay, this is for par. <laughs> On a par five, that should have been pretty straightforward. If you hold this shot, is the video going to be titled the best par you've ever seen, ever? <laughs> Let's do it for the title, eh? Yeah, come on. Is that bird absolutely massive? Yeah. It's like an eagle. Come on, big kick, big kick, take a big kick. Still not on the green, everybody. This could be a real high score. We're getting closer. <laughs> yes, good save. Ish. A one put double bogey. Yeah. <laughs> aye, 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 five over now. Okay, I'm 200 yards away way off into the rough. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to absolute bullet a four iron. Don't draw. Bunker. Yep. Just have to bash it in. If it missed, it missed and it's off the green, but sod it. Right, somehow, six over. Lots of birdies needed coming in. I forgot now, five holes left to go. Three birdies needed to try and get in under 75. Not impossible. Oh, Heading towards another bush there. Great ball, Naga. After I've seen you hit for a long time, that was it. I'm 150 away from the front, so I'm actually trying to muscle a pitching wedge there and fly it as high as I can and hopefully it can just stop because of elevation. Mm, come back right. Stroll, it's doing it. <laughs> I actually don't know what else I can do from there. Okay, a bit frustrated with that. Thought I couldn't have played it any better, but back of the green. Really got to get up and down. Ah, if any chance of breaking 75, this has got to drop. Come on, guy, knock it in for birdie. Oh, that was a terrible putt. Oh, God. Just write pathetic in <laughs> letters there. Pathetic. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, silly bogey. Okay, four birdies required. Let's go and get them. 
Oh, nothing quite feels right now. Get over that bunker. You're going in some bunkers today. Nothing just quite feels right now. Isn't it funny how it just doesn't... Yeah. When you're lacking in a bit of good quality golf shots, it suddenly all starts to go through your game. Go a lot. Without trying to put any more pressure on, this shot is solid. He's in the thick rough. He's got to lob it over that huge trap. There's not much green to work with. The green's on a huge slope. I don't you just saying how easy one. the shot is. Oh, yeah, it's an easy shot this, mate. <laughs> Get it close. Oh, it's not even sat nice. Oh, unbelievable. Now this is a foot that needs to go in. Oh my, crying out loud. <laughs> I feel like I've burnt the edges a lot you are? today. Back. Can I have some par sauce, please? Oh. Oh. Can I now? Is it? That... Oh! I don't want to play anymore. This this round of golf has done me in. I mean, come on. If you want to laugh. Feel free to laugh. He might cry though. And now, it's even started raining. Oh, just leave out here. If you don't like it, step away, you Oh, it's thin as anything, but it might be all right. Yeah, great shot. Okay, I'm gonna box this one. Not chipped in for this decade. Oh. Had a look. So far the scores. Well, my score of Ennard, if anyone wants to know, I picked up about 10 times. I'm, I'm this close to Ennard in. So, I've got to make a birdie to break 80. Considering this is the home of the first ever Ryder Cup in Europe, I challenge you to a uh, match on this hole. Just this hole? One hole match play. May the best man win. 190 yard par three. Oh, he stands up there and hits a lot. Oh, it's got to go oh, though. It. Oh, it's in the sand. Oh, that's actually not too bad. I missed the green left in the bunker. It's actually not a bad lie. Fingers crossed, get that out. Rick's I, there. Um, I'm pin high, level with the uh, level with the pin. That's why it's called pin high. And I'm just chipping from here, so not too much of a difficult shot. So it's on you first, Guy. Oh, OK. What's your confidence levels on getting up and down from there? What At percentage? The nine. Nine out of ten? 9.2 out oh, of Oh, wow, 10. OK. A little tip. Always try and trick your opponent to actually how confident you are. Reality, confidence is probably like a five out of ten. But I don't want him to know that. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> I fired it. We go again, up and down from here. Save bogey. Oh, for crying out, that was pathetic. Okay, let's just chip it in then. Get in. Wait for it, wait, wait, it's not finished yet. <laughs> He's crap golf in it. He's opened the door. I'm done with this round. Pop. I am done with it. To halve the whole guy. Oh! Actually, you know, I actually think these might be old holes, like old regulation size. Right, so we one hole to go. Weirdly, my score is probably where I expected to be in today's before I played. Well, after the couple of weeks off. Just yeah, I just didn't at all stand get here today. Drove here thinking I feel like I'm going to play really well. Not having that week on week in playing, a couple of weeks off and kind of a, a little bit of an injury. I'm not. I'm not blaming the injury for one one second, but it's a great excuse for <laughs> playing a bad round, is I feel like you just get out of that game sharpness. I'm probably frustrated the way I played the first nine, or certainly the first five or six holes, I felt like, yeah, I'm really in control of my game and I feel like I'm playing well. 
and then that silly three putt, four putt, should I say, on the par three, the eighth. And just that was like, ah, and struggled since that. And then the par five, I was hit in the bush, kind of annoyed me a little bit. Because I think at that point, I could have still, Turn I could have around. still been on track to, to pick this up. But it's been a tough course, mm, not been easy. Awesome course. Certainly off the, back, off the back tees, off these blue tees, 7,000 yards on a golf course you've never played before. Feeling just a little bit out of sorts. It's been very tough, but one I have thoroughly, thoroughly mm. enjoyed. Right, let's finish off with a birdie. Oh, that could be the drive of the day. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. That's nice as well. Great ball. Thanks. Last shot into 18. Confident. Full, <laughs> full pitching wedge. This is the break 80. Oh, that could be the last shot as well. Ooh. Come on. Oh. oh, God, that was even worse. Not your day. First foul. Well done. <laughs> oh, I think that was harder than walking across Scotland. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Episode 10. Hopefully it's better. <laughs>